black or this blue, listen to this name. It's called Bottle Blue. Isn't that original? And honestly, the color is so original. It's hard to describe it compared to something else. I would say it's almost like peacock meets turquoise, where it's not like a flashy bright, it's certainly saturated in color, but it's not too bold, it's not too bright, and I think it will look gorgeous on everyone. You know, why don't I actually pull that one forward and leave it there since Amy's in the olive. Okay, so here's how this works. You will see there is a tie on it. So you can take the tie off and leave it just as a, as a loose flowing cardigan. Almost reminds me the way um, a fancy robe would fit, but obviously much more dress between the laser cut out, but just that kind of fluid feel is what I want you to think of if you're just draping it. But Dee wanted you to tie it. So the idea is you throw this on over a white tank, a little black dress, a beautiful blush camisole, and then you cinch it in at the waist. And then like imagine if this was with your white pants and a white tank underneath. You've got all this beautiful drapiness and the laser cutouts. You've given yourself this tiny exquisite waist and then to finish it off, you have more cutouts all along the edge and even scalloped it. Doesn't it make you look like, or make you think of lace? because that is what I thought instantly when I saw this. But it's under 70. If this was all done in lace, and might I add Dennis Basso Couture lace, we would not be spending $70 tonight. In fact, I don't, you know, just sit down and watch any TV. I watch a lot of fashion TV, and I just saw tonight lace was the number one thing on the runway at Fashion Week. The number mm. one thing. But with lace, I feel like, if, is my outfit too fancy? Is it good for the weekend party? I don't know, do I look old fashioned? Do I look like the bride? Do I look like I'm trying too hard? So I love that Dennis managed to tone down the lace, give you that same girly effect, but in a much cooler, in a much more provocative kind of way. Oh, and Amy, I'm so glad you turned around. Did no. you see that? You can see the white all shining underneath the cutouts. I wanted to look back and I couldn't see it if I <laughs> turned back around. Darn it, we need some full length mirrors or something here to help all the girls see. I mean, it's so pretty. It's telling me a layer story now instead of just a cutout story. And it's so light and airy. It's just wonderful for like out to dinners, I feel like. Even day to night, like I would wear this to the office and then you can go to happy hours in this as well. I will say that Olive looks great with your Today's Special Value handbag too. And the nude I snake. agree. I like that combo. <laughs> and so what I love about it too is, did you see where it hits Amy's arms? A lot of us do not do the tank alone. We do not do the short sleeve shirt alone. So if you want some arm coverage, but in a spring fabric, this is it. Just like Walter's jacket that I'm wearing, it feels like a shirt, not a cardigan, not a jacket. And so you can still do a layer story when the weather gets warm. You just have to choose the right fabric. So you won't be hot in this one. You won't be bothered by it. You can put it in the washing machine and you can put it in the dryer. But the way that that just hits your face and just kind of flows open and then you have all the cutout detail, it really is attractive. So this blue is getting limited. Blue will work with black immediately. I would love to see you do the blue and white later, but you could also have fun with colors. Are you a bright gal? Okay, let me give you a daring option. Orange, orange and blue look really pretty. If you're thinking, heck no aim, give me a more neutral option. Well, you know what I would love you to do? Then what about doing exactly that? nudes, light beiges, light soft stones under there, like the gray. If you are a quieter gal, grab the gray today special value and put it with the blue. That would look really nice. Now, Amy has the olive on. I couldn't tell you the last time I've done a fashion show and I didn't present olive. It is everywhere. It was like the unspoken color that everyone kind of designed and used, but nobody said it's the color of the year. But somehow it is everywhere. Right now, let me offer you this. Let me imagine you in dark jeans, an animal print belt, and then I am thinking either a black tank underneath to darken it up, or if you want to pop it, I don't think I wanna do a white if we're doing animal print and dark indigo. I'm gonna go sand. But what do we do with olive in the spring? Okay, well, do you have anything with florals on it? Do you have anything with a spring print on it? Because you can probably put that olive over that. Do you have a spring dress that's gonna need a little bit of coverage, like a navy maxi dress? Put that olive over it, you would look gorgeous. And then like a golden gladiator sandal, ah, oh, 
Could you do hoops with that? I think that would be really nice. And then you've got the black. So what do you do with this? Okay, let's go get the diamond ink ring, right? Let's put that on. Let's do the diamond ink ear climber in your ear. Let's do white, but wait for me, white pants too. So a white tank and white pants and the black over it. Do the ear climber, smoke out your eye, do a nude lip. Ah, you're doing sexy, but you're not showing bare skin. You're doing alluring, but you're not uncomfortable and you're not trying too hard. So three very different looks, but one really great couture inspired piece. Okay, so we started with a month with over 2,300. Fewer than 600 to go around. And when you see $69.12, I almost wish I had my phone out here because you know what I would do right now? I would pop up Dennis's video from Fashion Week. The very first gown that pops up, Aim, it's this long gown with some sort of super, super, super cool texture on it. And I am not kidding. I bet it's the price of a luxury car mm -hmm. Or I'm willing to bet the price of two luxury cars. Like it might be a hundred thousand dollar dress, and I'm not even kidding. I see your bet. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> see, there you go. I mean, I'm just telling you. If you type in Dennis Basso's name, what he does for us at QVC is Crazy. awesome because he is such a couture designer, it is not even funny. Like to walk into his boutique, things don't have price tags. Like you have to ask for the price and then you try it on in the most gorgeous fit fitting room. They fit you right there. And then you write a check for $20,000. It's that easy. It's that easy, right? Mm -hmm. So we can write checks for $69.12 instead of tonight and still get that couture name on the label of our jackets. Oh, hey, since I'm over here, and I'm all for giving love to everything. Don't forget Walter Baker's coming back. He might be my fun money answer. I'm just saying, 10 minutes. And then we are going to do a little girl talk. It's gonna lead us into some beauty secrets, so stay with us for that. But next up, this is what Amy's been wearing. It is a wonderful cami designed by Kathleen Kirkwood. And what I love about it is it has a slight peplum to it. So I honestly think I'm gonna go to Dee and Amy as soon as I can, because it looks like a regular tank, but if I lift this up just a little higher, you're gonna see the back has a built-in peplum all done in a sheer material. Isn't that pretty? So here are your color choices. Wait.